Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to the Copper 3R. If you missed the last episode, you can click on the eye on the top of the video to watch a previous episode to get caught up. Ooh, alright. Ooh, Tuesday, September 5th. No matter what the age, morning is always refreshing throughout the world. And, okay. At the very least, that's what I thought of it, and I've never once thought my idea was mistaken. However... Well, there you go, it was mistaken. A lot. See? Everyone's sad. For some reason. This morning, the air seemed to be electrified. Hmm... I don't know about eating breakfast, breakfast in complete silence. Huh? What's going on? Piggy san was silently eating her breakfast. Wait, puppets eat too? If she's equipped to some kind of internal device that converts what she eats into operational energy, then the Edogawa family possesses rather advanced skills. That's not good, why? Mano said glancing at the table next to ours. I glanced over there after her. <laughs> oh. Ian. Ah. Next to us sat Ian, Selway, and Rurika or Det. Around them sat their followers from Class C. Plus, even though they were ignoring us, we could still hear them insulting us on purpose. Oh, okay, thanks, Shiki. Uh, are you sure? それは確かに真実ではありますが、この風見鳥にはマスター以上の変態はいないようですよ。Okay, oh, well apparently he's the biggest pervert at Weather Vane. 安心して変態トークに勤しんでくださいませ。Oh, that is sad. Yuki's son's statements were terrible, but I do think they managed to lighten the mood a bit. なんにせよ。well, I mean, if you're, you know, listening to their conversation of, you know, insults, then yeah. Oh, wait, me? Why? Well, I'd love to, but frankly, I don't want to get involved with that guy. Bit into my breakfast croissant and gulp down some black coffee. <gasps> croissants, oh my gosh, I love croissants. I certainly wasn't in the mood for tea. それにしてもエグミの連中の情けなさと言ったら熾烈を極めるぞ。ああ。何しろ、グニルックのルールを知らないような田舎者が何人もいるんだからな。ああ。レレ、then I well, we already know that he lost, and he took it very, very, uh... Huh. Upsettingly. Please don't say that. We're only Class C wants a hero. Ian takes the field for us, aren't we? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I love her expression. Look at her expression. It's like, uh-huh, sure you are. Mm -hmm. It's been like that this whole time. Oh man, that's upsetting. Also, his followers seem too well, too well trained to have just met him in the past few days. They probably knew him from before. I don't know if they're sincerely putting Ian on a pedestal or if that's just a, their playstyle requires, but they're working hard at it. Yay, she will in the mood, right? Hmm? Where? 
何言ってんのよ私す椅子が2つ空いてるのよ座らない手はないでしょ That's true. そ,そういう場合は選曲に相席していいか聞くもんだよいいのいいの別に誰も文句なんていいやしないわよ Uh, I mean, if there are open seats, and you know, I guess it's fine. You don't have to ask, right? <laughs> An intruder suddenly arrived at the table for six we were seated at. The two of them, well, the pair, sat down at our table without asking permission. Oh, I can help you with Mary and Edward from Class B. Huh? Mary and Edward? <laughs> All right, ho ho hold on one second. Hold on. So they they somehow didn't see who was sitting here at all. And what? How? How do you not see who's sitting here? Uh, kind of? Well, little Edward, Mary, I'll introduce you. This is my little sister, Himeno, and this is our friend, Edogawa Kusuke, and this is one of Kusuke's servants, Edogawa Shiki-san. We're all in Class A. I explained Shiki-san a bit untruthfully, but it should be fine. Well, Edogawa, I mean, Edogawa, um, uh, you know, Edward's a guy. I, I just did. That's what I'm doing, right? Wait a second. So, well, uh, these two are both from Class B, Mary Holmes and Edward Watson. We introduced each other. Oh, okay, this is this is where she started calling him Edgar. Edogawa. <laughs> Oh, okay. Look, Edward is a man. <laughs> Everyone's surprised with Shiki. He's like, eh, yeah, I already know. I already know. Meno and Kusuke both went wide eyed. Never mind, she she gets surprised as well. Even Shiki san looked a little surprised at this. I was shocked too, but it's the truth. Right, Edward? Why, why, why would he be lying? A bona fide man. <laughs> His expression. Oh. While the others were being overly impressed by Edward's gender, Mary suddenly interrupted. Oh, oh, you actually said his name now. Apparently, she was talking to Kusuke. Uh, yes, apparently. え、探偵として有名な江戸川家かって聞いてるのよ。え、what?ああ、そっちか。探偵うちの副業です。いつの間にか。Wait, what? Side occupation is detectives? What? Detectives? You mean like the ones in mystery and crime novels? 
苦行って言うなよ表の家業だイエス失礼しました I see. So while they are the same puppeteer Adagawa family, they made their living as detectives in mainstream society, huh? I bet they're probably using magic to help with the family business, though. But I'm surprised Mary knew that. <laughs> but but he, he couldn't figure out that, that Edward's a guy. エドガワコウスケとは俺のへえかっこいい残念ながらマスターにはまだ家業を継げるほどの実績も実力もないんですけどねああてこらしきめったなことを言うな確かに実績は少ないけど素質はすごいぞああでもメアリーさんはよく知
After that, we spent a brief time before class leisurely enjoying our breakfast. Yay! I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. This is where we find out that, uh... That they know each other as detectives. That was very... Very odd. But anyways, we're gonna find out what's gonna happen in these lectures in the next episode of The Couple 3R. If you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!